guessing I'm being joined. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alright, mate. Good, mate. Good to see you. How are you doing? Alright, yeah. Yeah, not too bad, mate. <laughs> How are you? Doing <laughs> well. Uh, I wouldn't have done it if I'd known. Second pull. Thanks, mate. You good? That's how you good? Good stuff. You have not changed at all. Yeah, that change. was back in um, 2003. How old were you then? Nine or ten. I have a game after school, and I just bomb at home because I'd be too nervous Don't to play. play. I'd be like, like horribly shy and introverted as a kid. Wouldn't, wouldn't speak to anyone. Then you find the rugby team, and I just ran with it. Gregor. That's my dad, right? The big unit at the back. That's where I get my height. <laughs> <laughs> I was never going to be very tall, so I try and use my brain, try and think quicker than everybody else, and I guess that was kind of ground into me. That's so, what's this one then here? I was captain then. I think it deterred a lot of a lot of the trouble I probably would have found myself in. Still managed to wriggle my wriggle my way into a few situations, but it helped me a lot. This situation in 2011, when I got a red card, you think, oh my goodness, could be known as the guy who sort of lost Wales the final and. When people fire these kind of shots, like in the press, they can throw something out when they leave it. But as players, like you live it then through the Sunday, Monday, all the way through to the next game. But for me, like being scrutinised like that, I felt like it took away from my game. I could not do anything without a headline coming out saying, "Oh, he's a hot head, a liability." And one of the coaches said, "Look, you're not being yourself." You know, to be able to park something and move on from it, mm -hmm. I'm not very good at it. And uh, yeah, bringing stuff home with me all the time, and that's what makes me good, but also what makes me not so good. Like, I, I sometimes talk to my son and say, you know, don't be beating yourself up about that. And then someone said to me recently, well, yeah, why don't you tell yourself that? Yeah. <laughs> I remember landing on my shoulder and completely feeling it tear. I just had a bit of a meltdown, like, I felt, like, worthless. I felt my value was just as a rugby player, as opposed to a person. I guess when I was a young captain, I think I was, you know, maybe a little bit hot-headed, maybe a little bit naive, you know, thinking, you know, this is leadership and you got to scream and shout. As captain, you got to change your stripes for whoever you're talking to. You know, you're never too old to learn. Like, you know, I still make mistakes regularly. People need to do what makes them feel good to then be able to perform. I often try to say to myself, I need to try and be the, the best version of myself, first and foremost, before I worry about anybody else. Yeah, sometimes you've got to be selfish to be selfless. Like Even from a performance point of view, you can't look after the team or other people if you're not mm. in a good space mentally yourself or a good space physically yourself. So looking after yourself will, will benefit others in the, in the long run. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Thanks for everything. <laughs>